which one will accelerate towards the desk at the higher rate? Will it be the book, the paper, or will it be the same? So let's get my ladder out and do it once again and see what the answer is. Okay, so I have my two objects and I'm gonna go ahead and drop them. Here we go on three, two, one. Um, go. Okay, so once again, the textbook and this sheet of paper actually accelerated down towards the desk at exactly the same rate it appeared. Well, it's because if the textbook is underneath, as it's falling, it's the one taking all that air resistance, so the force is acting on this book. But this book has way too much mass, way too much inertia for that small amount of force to really affect its motion. So it basically falls at the same rate of free fall, 9.8 meters per second squared. And by putting the paper behind it, that causes the paper to not directly experience that air resistance. So that air force is pushing up on the book and not on the paper, which allows the paper to also accelerate towards the desk at 9.8 meters per second squared, just like the book.